you need to produce 3D or high density prints, you will have to coat an ultra thick stencil. It is easy to make stencils of up to 300 microns thick with plus 9000 by following these simple guidelines. Take a dry degree screen and using a round edged coating trough apply the first coat to the print side of the screen. Make sure that you coat slowly in order to prevent air bubbles being trapped in the mesh openings. Now apply a second coat. Turn the screen around and you should see a high gloss finish on the squeegee side. This shows that the emulsion has been pushed all the way through the mesh. If it is patchy, then apply a further coat from the print side. Turn on a cold air fan to blow air onto the print side. This fan will partially harden the surface of the emulsion to form a skin. Immediately apply additional coats from the squeegee side. This will push the emulsion back through to the print side. After a second coat has been applied, rotate the screen through 180 degrees. This will help to prevent the emulsion from sagging as the thickness increases. To build up the stencil thickness you can apply up to an additional 10 wet coats from the squeegee side without intermediate drying. However, make sure you rotate the screen after every additional 2 coats to prevent the thick layer of wet emulsion from running. Stencils of up to 300 microns have been produced without the need for intermediate drying. These are perfect for high build effects such as 3D or high density printing. Top tips 1. Coat slowly to reduce air bubbles. 2. Use a cold air fan to skin the emulsion on the print side. The cold fan will partially harden the surface allowing the stencil thickness to be increased as additional coats are applied to the squeegee side. 3. Rotate the screen through 180 degrees. This will stop the thick layer of wet emulsion from running. 4. Apply as many coats as necessary. Up to 10 additional coats can be applied from the squeegee side without intermediate drying. 5. Dry the screen overnight. It is important that the emulsion is completely dry before exposure. 6. Make sure it is fully exposed. Do not be tempted to cut back the exposure as this will lead to early breakdown. 7. Wash out the screen from the print side with strong water spray. This is especially important if the screen is at all underexposed. 8. Do not pre-soak the screen before washout as this could cause it to soften and be easily damaged during washout. For more information about McDermott Autotype screen products go to www.mcdermottautotype.com